Hello, this is Pastor Don, and I'm coming to you on this uh, Wednesday's update to give you an in-person uh, take on what's going on around here. And uh, while we continue to be closed, uh, we're not closed in our activities at all. As you know, we continue to do our recordings on a daily basis for our devotionals, and I hope you're taking advantage of those, tuning in each each morning on either Facebook or YouTube. And um, of course, we're also continuing to do our uh, recordings for our Sunday worship. And uh, we do those on, on Wednesday mornings at 10 o'clock, and uh, you are invited, if you so choose, to come and uh, witness that, to participate in uh, worship in that form. We've had probably 8, 10, 12 people coming each Wednesday for that, and um, you're welcome to, to join them. Of course, we do require everybody to wear a, a mask and um, to socially distance, but we've got plenty of room uh, to accommodate you if you should uh, like to come. Um, we are not yet ready to make a decision to reopen for worship. However, um, we are watching closely what the infection rate is in and around the villages in Sumter County. And, and when we think that it's starting to look like there's a downward trend, uh, we'll feel more confident about um, fully opening for worship. Um, but in the meantime, uh, our council will take under advisement at its next meeting at the end of, of August uh, if we should open on a limited basis only for uh, Rock of Ages members. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we're anxious to get open again to be able to fully participate in, in thanking and praising the Lord and to participate uh, in, in communion again. Uh, speaking of communion, uh, one of our members, Ron Vincent, is a woodworker, and I had mentioned to him uh, very recently that, uh, boy, I bet he could make a pretty nice wood uh, communion set. And um, in today's mail, this arrived, this beautiful chalice and plate. Uh, made by Ron, unique, one of a kind. And this will become uh, a communion service set that we'll use with some regularity. So I want to say thank you to Ron for uh, answering my request to use his skills to make a gift to Rock of Ages Lutheran Church. I also want you to hear from me directly uh, a personal thank you for the level of support that you all have continued to provide during these five months of closure. We're able to continue ministry in this place, uh, not as fully as we'd like, but uh, because you continue to make it possible through your financial contributions. And I hope that you are finding it convenient to use our electronic giving method on our website. If you haven't tried it, uh, go to rockofagelutheran.com and at the very bottom of the home page, you'll find a green tab which says give. And click on that and that'll take you through a very simple setup process whereby you can give uh, electronically and instantly. Uh, using that method. And uh, you also have the uh, option through that method of uh, giving on a credit card, a debit card, or directly from your bank. So uh, I hope you'll consider that as, as one more option available to you to make it easy for you to uh, continue your donations. I'd also like to uh, let you know that uh, Rock of Ages continues to support the Synod's ministry through our benevolence donations uh, on a, a quarterly basis. 
Uh, we just recently received a very nice letter from the bishop thanking us for our support. As you might imagine, there's an awful lot of churches around the Synod today that um, are small, struggling financially, that have been unable to make their benevolence contributions to the Synod. And um, you must recognize that the, the Synod continues to do a vast array of ministries uh, that are very important uh, to people. Uh, one of those is the COVID-19 Relief Fund. That is a special fund that was created at the beginning of this pandemic to provide resources for churches to continue uh, some of their ministries, uh, like feeding the hungry, to uh, create the opportunity to do video messaging. And uh, we were the beneficiary of a grant from the COVID-19 fund. Uh, we received $2,000 to uh, go towards um, enhancing our ability to record. And we used that money to uh, reconfigure the lighting in the sanctuary, which was not configured optimally for um, video recording. And so now uh, the lighting is uh, much improved. And um, we're grateful that we had access to those funds uh, to do that. And um, the Synod is uh, appealing that you uh, might consider giving towards that fund any amount. Uh, churches across the Synod are in need of financial support. And uh, for those who are able, uh, that would be a most welcome gift. As we are talking about audiovisual ministry and, and reaching out, uh, you've heard me say before that uh, our recordings for our Sunday worship uh, continue to reach uh, anywhere from five, six, seven hundred people each, each week. Um, and those people are located uh, all across the country, from California to Colorado to Texas to Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Illinois. Uh, it, it, it's amazing to me that uh, an unintended consequence of this pandemic is that we were literally kicked into the mode of having to find alternative methods to share the good news. And in so doing, we have reached multiple more people than we were reaching in person. And so uh, what it has taught us is that we've expanded our ministry dramatically. And one day when we're able to gather again in the church building, I suspect, I'm pretty confident, that the numbers of people who have witnessed us, who have experienced us in video formats, will want to come and try this place. So uh, our video ministry uh, will turn out to be one of the best forms of invitation and uh, advertising that we could possibly do. Now, we do all of these recordings on this very iPhone that you're watching me on right now. And uh, while it has been good, it doesn't allow us to do the kind of recording and broadcasting that uh, we would like to be able to do. For instance, you know that in our sanctuary, we've got a, a, a very nice uh, projection system and computer system. Uh, so that we can project images and video clips and uh, so forth uh, during worship. However, uh, we're unable to use that system uh, along with this phone recording capability. They do not interact. Uh, when we are able to acquire the necessary equipment to integrate all of our recording efforts, we will not only be able to incorporate the uh, projections inside the sanctuary, uh, but we'll be able to live stream, broadcast in real time to 
anyone who is connected to us either on Facebook or YouTube. But enable to uh, uh, do that, uh, we, we have to have this equipment, which is what we have recently appealed to you to help us buy. Uh, we need about a total of $5,000 uh, to buy the, the cameras, the recording hubs, and all the necessary other equipment that make this possible. You know, it's not likely that we'll discontinue doing video of our worship services and other activities around here because it's so effective and so far reaching. And so um, I'm personally appealing to you to consider making a do donation to our uh, AV fund to enable us to purchase the necessary uh, equipment. Uh, you've been so generous for so many years to this ministry, and uh, virtually everything that we have set our mind to accomplish has been accomplished. And so I know that we will accomplish this too um, in God's time. So um, I hope that you all are doing well. I know that this is uh, just an unimaginable situation that we're in to have these five months now of self-isolation, to have constricted ourselves socially, to not be able to go do the kinds of things that we are accustomed to doing and want to do. Uh, but it has caused us, hopefully, to maybe reset our priorities. What's most important to us? Certainly our relationships, and I hope that you have discovered that uh, the time that has been made available to you during this self-isolation for reading of scripture and for prayer, for contemplating God's abundance in your life, has, has been one of those uh, gifts of this time. Uh, each day that we do the devotionals, I'm reminded of, of how blessed we are to have God's word available to us any time we want. And so we'll continue to connect with you in this way, hoping, praying that you're staying healthy and that one day in the very near future, we'll be able to regather in this building that we did not have very much time to get used to, only about seven or eight months. So when you return, it's going to be like a new experience all over again. So until we have a chance to meet again in our next uh, daily devotional, uh, this is Pastor Don saying God bless.